Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hello, 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 new subscribers. Hello, Divine Time and Tarot family. I thank you guys. I appreciate you. Y'all have just been showing me a whole lot of love lately. And I truly appreciate that. Y'all don't forget. Um, Y'all have until tomorrow for the the um, two free questions. It's until the end of July. You have to be a subscriber and you have to comment. You have to like the video also. Um, you can email me or you can text me. My number is in the description box. My email is thugans1031 at gmail.com. Hugins is H-U-G-I-N-S. Okay, y'all. Um... So we're here doing a video for cancer. This is for the first part of August. Guys, this is a general reading. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I've already shuffled Sage, prayed over the cards, laid them down for time purposes. So cancer, your overall energy is the Six of Pentacles. Six of Earth, Six of Pentacles, and a regular tarot. Now the Six of Pentacles, this could be a gift. This could be a gift of money time or effort this could be new career opportunities this could be receiving a loan or paying off debt this also can rep represent equal giving and taking with a person or it can represent that somebody could be given to two people okay so let's see what it represents in your situation cancer um, the first card that came out is the nine of fire for you. This is, you know, being guarded. This is, you're not giving up. This is, you know, protecting, you know, something that you have created. This is protecting yourself. This is, you know, having courage and believing in yourself. So you're, you're being guarded from something here. Cancer. Your next card out is the is the King of Fire. Now, this is being focused. This is being very passionate about something. This is being aggressive. This is going for the things that you want and getting them. Um, this is being a leader. This is being very creative. But guess what, y'all? We got the king of fire here and the queen of fire here. So, Cancer, you are very passionate about someone and someone is very passionate about you, okay? And it kind of have you, you know, a little bit stressed. Why? It's passion. What? This is expecting the worst. This is self -affirming. For fulfilling prophecies. This is stressing. Can't sleep. Can't eat. This sleepless nights. What are you stressing about, Cancer? And then the next card is the Sun card. This is the most positive card in the tarot deck. This is happy outcome, brilliant new ideas. This is uh, success. This is having confidence in yourself. So you happy about something? Or something has been illuminated here, okay? Then your next card is the Page of Fire. So somebody's sending you a very passionate message that's going to make you happy, okay? You're going to be real excited about this. This could be news of an exciting new endeavor. Or this is somebody saying, hey, how you doing? I like you. I've I seen you, blah, 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 blah. But whatever it is, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you happy. Then we have the Page of Cups. Um, this this Page of Cups, this could be a new a new um, person enters your life. This could be the beginning of a new relationship. Um, this could be your your intuition is on point. This can also be someone wanting to apologize to you, okay, and wanting to offer you love again. Okay. Um. Now, Cancer, the card that was at the bottom of your deck, 
was the six of cups this is this could be a soulmate you know union this could be somebody in your past wanting to come back are you letting somebody creep back in cancer huh because somebody in your past is sending you messages and they want to apologize to you you got a lot of passion for this person this is possibly why you're being very guarded and stressing out but it seems like this person makes you happy this person is coming back in cancer it looks like they want a commitment they're probably telling you that they want a commitment because you got the unity card here and you got the high priestess which is you need to listen to your intuition cancer okay listen to your intuition have patience consider carefully what you want before acting okay are we in retrograde i don't know because the last videos i've been doing somebody people have like recognized look i know who you are i want you back blah 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 so i don't know because they coming back in like real strong they ready to put it on the table put it on the finger all of that y'all so Y'all better watch out. Y'all better watch out because they coming back. But listen, Cancer, you really need to listen to your intuition because at the bottom of, of the bottom, uh, after the Queen of Fire, there was the Three of Swords. There was the Three of Swords. This is great sadness. This is somebody putting someone in a third party situation. But I'm glad to see under that one. We got the Queen of Swords. You're going to cut this person at the knees. Okay? You're going to cut them at the knees. That's what you go do. But you, like I said, you got a lot of passion for this person, um, Cancer. And remember, if this hasn't already happened, this is going to happen like in, in, in August. The first part of August, second part of August. You know, I don't know, but it's coming. Why is the nine of wands here? Let's get some clarification. Um, we got the death card here, clarifying the nine of wands. So this has me thinking that you're not being guarded, that you're going to put your guards down. Why is the death card here? Could be dealing with a Scorpio, don't have to be. Why is the no 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 okay what I'm getting is whoever is coming at you you're gonna put this to an end because what comes after that is the queen of swords again so you're gonna cut this person to the knees again you you're not caring how much passion you got for somebody you're just not gonna have it because you know this person is juggling with the two of pentacles. You know they juggling. Why is the king of wands here? Why is the king of wands here? They thinking about them. Um. Yeah, this person got a lot of passion for you, Cancer. This is the queen of cups. This is you. Mm-hmm. They have a very, they got a lot of passion for you. They coming at you aggressively. Because, uh, uh-huh. They want to see you again. They sure do. Why is the Nine of Swords here? And this is going to be stressing you out. The two, the um, lovers could be dealing with a Gemini. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, this, is a, this is a soulmate connection, a very spiritual connection. But this person has a decision. He, he's, this person is dealing with you and someone else, Cancer. There's a decision that this person has to make between you and and somebody else um yep that queen of wands came out again because you do got a lot of passion for this person but this is clarifying the sun so you gonna be you know you gonna head towards something very aggressively your you you your mind it seems like to me your mind pretty much is on your career right now you're doing things that's very creative, you know, you're being ambitious, you know, and th with the sun card here, at the end of the day, 
whatever you plan on doing, whichever way you plan on go, it's going to be okay. As long as you don't backtrack. You don't need to backtrack. You need to keep going forward. You guys got your own will. That's just my advice. That's just what universe is saying that you need to do. Why is the page of wands here? What is this message about the page of fire? Why is the page of fire here? Okay, so somebody going to be calling you. They're going to be very manipulative with this five of swords. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Mm -hmm. They're going to be very passionate, manipulative, playing mind games with you. Telling you they want to invest in you. But this person got options and they very confused. Very confused, Cancer. Why is the page of water here? Why is the page of cups here? The page of cups here. The apology, universe is wanting you to use your intuition, okay? Because there's definitely secrets behind this apology. There's something behind this apology. Yeah, they love you. They're going to tell you they love you. Mm -hmm. They want to reconcile with you. Some of you guys got new love coming in, you know, like, definitely. This is the um, Ace of Cups. This is a new... This page of cups, somebody's coming towards you guys that's new. And you still need to, you know, stay on your P's and Q's, use your intuition. But this person is coming back with this apology. You need to use your intuition because there's motives behind it, okay? They want something from you. Mm-hmm. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Six of Pentacles is being clarified by the page of wands. This Definitely, y'all definitely getting communication from this person. They they gonna tell you that they want an equal give and take, an equal give and take situation with you. Okay, why is the page of wands here? Page of wands. This person is very manipulative. Very manipulative. Yeah, they wishing and hoping and praying that you gonna go along with whatever they're conversating about. They are wishing, hoping, and praying. Okay, with this star card here. You're doing a lot of healing too, Cancer. You're getting your balance. You're definitely getting your balance. And this person wants, you know, balance with you also. But there's something going on behind the scenes with this person, Cancer. So you just got to keep your eyes open on that, okay? Uh, why is the star here? Why is the star here? The Knight of Swords. They're rushing in. Didn't I tell you they're coming quickly? They're coming very quickly. Could be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So your advice from Universe, um, Cancer, from the Whispers of Love, it says spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. This is the card that came out. And then we have, have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. Trust your, trust your intuition, okay? Trust your intuition, Cancer. All right, guys. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe.